okay my friends so you've heard that LinkedIn is the place to go for business right if you're really serious and you're in business and you want to grow your business you want to use LinkedIn and you know I don't I don't disagree with that it is true that LinkedIn is like the big boys of social media or the serious social media platform so it could be intimidating if you're on Facebook or Twitter or Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat you be, you might be or TikTok you might be posting these like you know dancing videos and these crazy pictures of cats or whatever and you're thinking well that's not for me LinkedIn's not for me and we're going to talk about how you can use LinkedIn to grow your business and how it's not that scary and not that different and it's definitely worth it because the leads you get from LinkedIn are usually a lot more qualified than you would get on any other of the platforms all right so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets oh sorry about that all right so if you're listening by the way if you're listening to the audio of this because I post on iTunes I post on Stitcher on iHeartRadio uh, Spotify anyways all the podcast platforms out there if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video at or the blog post at cis249.jsgagnon.com that's cis249.jsgagnon.com all right so and if you're watching the video I would love to hear from you so do you use LinkedIn what are you struggling with on LinkedIn if you are we're going to talk about the things that you know I've been I've learned and I've struggled with and if there's anything that I don't cover then I would definitely love to hear from you and let me know where you're watching from where you're listening from just comment below and let me know I always check all the comments so go ahead and do that all right so let's get right to it I'm going to go right there I'm going to share LinkedIn we're just going to show you kind of what it you know you probably already know what LinkedIn looks like I mean basically um you, it's a it's a social media platform you can have your own cover photo on here you can have your own profile picture one of the things that I would definitely recommend is make sure that your profile is complete you want to make sure that you have a profile that says that you're what they call an all-star I guess it's it's all filled in you got your 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 tagline you got your bio you got your your about section filled in you got your you got your job history filled in right and you have your uh education your skills and endorsements if you can get recommendations that'd be great too um and you know interest right so you got to make sure the whole thing is filled in and you want to be congruent with your other platforms so your profile picture should be the same that you post on others and that by the way should be a professional picture of you and your cover photo should be the same that you have across other platforms as well all right so that's the first part now one of the things that <laughs> that uh, I actually am creating a blog post as I record this I actually did it all kind of already let me just um because I it I thought it would help me uh, jog my memory let's just put it over on the other screen here so I don't have to let's go back here because it'll help me to jog my memory make sure that I put this nicely okay all right so um yeah so I mean really it's all about your profile making sure well the first thing is you got to make sure your profile is right right and then just like any other platform you want to be active right so one of the things you can do is you can go down to your profile here you're going to see activity right there and you can click on the see all to go see your activity you can actually do that on anybody's profile you can go to my profile by the way make sure you connect with me if you're on LinkedIn go ahead and send me a connection request you can find me at jeansergegagnon.com so linkedin.com slash i-n slash j-e-a-n-s-e-r-g-e-g-a-g-n-o-n.com just uh, do that and uh, there's going to be a link in the blog post obviously to find me um but um you'll see all your posts here in your um activity right so me I share to groups and things we'll cover that stuff but you gotta be staying active if I'm on the on the platform you gotta be liking things right you gotta be liking some things you gotta be kind of loving them reacting whatever uh and Boise sounds amazing obviously you want to be reading the stuff you want to be you know uh engaging and commenting relevant things 
and this is awesome right you want to be posting and engage just like any other platform right because in every single social media platform how much you engage definitely affects how much your stuff is seen by other people in their feed if I go to and the other thing uh, by the way you can actually access your uh, post your activity right here by going to post an activity right there as well when you go here it takes you to your activity you can click on post to see just your posts and then the all activity shows also likes and comments if it's just the comments I just did right now right <clears throat> oh actually they're not they're not loaded up yet maybe it, it takes a, a sometimes it takes a little bit for the the engine uh, the LinkedIn engine to keep to add things to your yeah see right here so share I commented on this I commented on this I I react I like this right <laughs> so it'll show you that but if you click on post it shows you just your post right and then if if you click on articles it shows you just your article right and I, sh I share articles every day by the way <coughs> that's yeah so that's the other thing whenever you're on LinkedIn you can create a post by clicking on start a post or you can actually write an article by clicking the right article now I don't use event you probably have you can probably create events that have to do with lives or things like that whatever you you want to mark a certain date right uh you can use that and when you start a post you just click on it and you start typing right hello this is a post from my live recording uh recording of episode number 249 of click uh, not click of course but of course oops course income secrets learn more at see I well actually I'm not going to put I'm just going to put my blog post Jean Serge, Jean Serge Gagnon.com. there you go so I'm going to post that just like that and it shows me a, a link to my blog post I just go like this and it's posted right so that's kind of that's it's that simple right that's obviously I'm sure you already knew that so now staying active is that's what it's about it's it's liking you know, you can also share posts I can say this is a great truth and I can post like this that now I shared that post to my kind of you know I mean and LinkedIn it's not you don't have an official feed that's yours uh you this the, there's a concept on the but uh but yeah so that's a little different but anyways those are the things you can do on LinkedIn just like any other engage um and sorry react comment and share just like any other platform right all right so you want to make sure you stay active the other thing we want to talk about is the frequency should you be posting once a day once a week 10 times a day what is the answer to that question that is something that you know what <laughs> nobody knows right some say one a, one a week one a day one a, one an hour it really doesn't matter the the secret is being consistent with your posts you got to be posting consistently on LinkedIn you got to make sure that you're posting the stuff that's relevant to your audience and you got to be consistent you, you, if you're posting once a day then keep posting once a day every day if you're posting once a week do it once a week if you don't have time to post 10 times a day then don't post 10 times one day and then one time the other day just post once a day if you can only do what right <laughs> so I use automation as well to do some of the uh, posting but uh, yeah we're not talking about automations here specifically but I just thought you should know the other thing is use a hashtag I actually use a hashtag on all my posts well I didn't on this one but I, if you look at any of my posts if I go back to my uh my profile my my post and activity here <laughs> and I look on my post you can actually see if I go to one of these these are shared posts to groups right so that you don't actually see the you can't uh, see but this is I use this ask Jean Serge hashtag in all my posts in LinkedIn and I also have this like footer at the bottom of all my posts using hashtags to share across or to engage or to grow your reach I guess is it's similar to you know other platforms but the thing with LinkedIn is that by using a hashtag that's unique to you nobody else is going to put ask on search in their post right um so when I click on it or anybody clicks on it I can actually send this link to somebody right I can send this link to people and they'll be able to you know see this kind of like feed style looking um you know the feed style looking uh 
page I guess with all my posts right all the posts that I have with my hashtag right see they're all these are all my posts because I'm the only one using that hashtag and people can just click on this follow right here to to follow and even and if you actually go to a hashtag and you click on start a post it'll actually show you that hashtag right in the post so you can just start typing make sure to make sure that it adds that hashtag to the post right <coughs> so that's using hashtags all right so what else can we talk about business page you want to create a business page you're in business right you're going a business on LinkedIn so you're in business if you go to the top here I'm actually not sure I have my business page here I'm trying to remember how you actually create a business page um well let's go to my business page and see if there's a because that's one of the things I found about LinkedIn is it's not intuitive necessarily like there's a admin tool right here invite connection sponsor post uh, manage deactivate new view page there must be a place a uh, link to create a new page right now let me just see um let me just see if I go to <clears throat> let's just let's just go back to uh company manage and over here maybe if I go and I go to here there might be a link <clears throat> pages no well first of all you will need a page if you ever want to do advertising and I'm not saying that you should be doing advertising on LinkedIn that LinkedIn is actually a little bit more expensive than other platforms but the thing is that if you ever want to advertise which you know you're in business of course you're going to want to advertise someday maybe not now maybe not in five years even but eventually you're going to want to so you need you should have that prepared and available the other thing it does is lets you create a LinkedIn insight tag that you can then add to your uh, paid on your blog and things like that so you can keep track of your visitors right <coughs> and you can advertise to them and that kind of stuff um and I'm just going to see if there's there's got to be a well let's just do a search how to add how to create a page in LinkedIn right Google's your friend right whenever you're not sure about it create a LinkedIn page it's pretty simple I'm sure uh so they say <clears throat> how do you do it um engage where's the create your page LinkedIn pages create a LinkedIn page okay I guess it's in here join a conversation I'll create your page I guess I got to click on this and it'll show me the oh, okay so I I don't know I guess it's a com a complex link here but if you do a Google search for create a LinkedIn page you're going to come up to this page here and then you just click on the create your page here which will take you to a page where you start to decide what kind of business you have small business medium business right if I go here let's say I create a um, page identity click click e-course uh, website https click ecourse.com industry so it's very you know business kind of thing right so I'm just going to put that where do I put that in it must be computer software <coughs> marketing maybe it's marketing no let's just say education digital e-learning let's make it e-learning there you go select company size let's just say zero one for now I'm self-employed and choose a file I'm going to upload the logo for it um let's go into my the logo this logo here let's go like that and there you go and tagline where you can post your own course Syndicate your content to any platforms. Let's say all platforms, right? <coughs> all with a social media twist. Oh no, I put too many. Create your blog 
syndicate content there we go there I am authorized to present create the page okay so now I have another page right and I can probably do the rest of the stuff at description location that's kind of stuff for now we're just gonna I'm just gonna leave it there and I think that <coughs> um <coughs> so that's how you create a page on LinkedIn it's pretty simple okay so now the next thing you want to know you want to make sure you do is sharing right you want to be sharing on in groups or using groups so groups are uh, basically if you go in here and you want to say e-learning if I want to search for e-learning um, I can just click on see all results and then I can select groups right here and then I'm going to see just the e-learning right e-learning so I'm going to click on these groups and I'm going to say request to join and then I'll go back to the list uh, e-learning 201 I think I'm already in that group unless it's a different one yeah I'm in there uh <clears throat> global network request to join uh, training development education and learning professional e-learning companies so that's how you get in groups right because so now once you have once you are in a group you're going to find that when you try to post something you can actually go here you start talking this is a post right and uh, an image uh, let's just take one of the small small images I don't know what that is but let's just it was an ad oh okay anyways so that's the picture and I'm going to say anyone instead of anyone you go to group members right here and then it gives you a list of you know groups you're part of if you click on that click on save then you can see that it says that now elite members right there right and so that's kind of <clears throat> that's kind of how you post to a group uh, I'm just going to cancel that discard <clears throat> now the other thing you can do is you're going to share it to a group so this is kind of what I do right I post every day my episode and then I share it to the groups that I'm a member of that I'm allowed to do that in um so what you do is you just <clears throat> you just do a post let's say I, I look at one of my posts that I did under here under post and activity look at my posts I take this post here I go to this post this is the post I want to share I go to share right here and let's go close these notifications and then I just go here I select the group let's say there save and then I can type something if I want up here and then I just click the post to actually share to that group so that's a share as you can see there's a post here and then the post there right <coughs> so that's what the share does that's how you do the share all right so sharing to groups all right so now the next thing and you want to do as I'm just going through the blog post is using stories oh yeah so stories now one of the things is that stories are not available on the website yet so if I go to here there's no stories here right I, I should have probably shared my phone but anyways let's just show you the phone here from the camera <clears throat> let's go to the full webcam so you see better so stories on LinkedIn oops yeah that's let's go to the camera first webcam there we go yeah I'm just gonna put it in front of here because it's easier for me to see <clears throat> but on your phone on your phone now you're gonna see at the top of the LinkedIn app right you can see there's these stories up there right so now I actually just created whoops I clicked on something now I actually just created as you see I created the page now they have stories for pages as well so now you can see that I've got my the first one on the on the well I guess the first one on this on that side right here right is my profile my actual profile so my personal profile the next one is my page I just have a page that's named after me because I do personal branding and then the next one you see there is this the page I just created right now the click ecourse page right which uh those are pages so you can you can actually post to those story the stories on those and to do that you just you just click on it first if you click on it it'll show you the story right uh you can tap on the side to go to the next if I just tap on the side here it goes to the next um the next uh item in the story um and if I tap on the other side it'll go to the previous right so right now if I want to post a new story I just go to the bottom here whoops 
down the bottom and I tap this new story button right and then I just so um, for me I could record right now I could just do a recording you know hello hello how's it going right or uh you can tap the little uh, button down there that's the button to um do the upload right so I can just choose an upload I select the video I want so I would tap one of the videos I want and then it's just going to show it to me and then after that you just tap the add to story right there now it's gonna now it's saying that it's gonna now it's gonna be uploading if I if I'm if I go forward here whoops if I go forward here you see that the last one that I just did right now it's saying uploading right so one of the things I found with LinkedIn is that if the upload fails and you add like say on Facebook I add four videos one after the other if video number two fails I can tap the retry and it'll stay in that position number two right so it's okay I can upload the four of them one after the other on Facebook there's no problem but on LinkedIn if I try to do that and number two fails and I, I do a retry on it and it succeeds it'll be at the end it'll be after the others that succeeded so I can't upload them all until it says uh, finished uploading and completed you gotta you gotta wait for that to upload the next one so that's kind of what I do and right now I'm actually uh, in the middle of uploading these so I might as well just do that right now and finish this up and there we go so now I have the four videos because I do a snapshot anyways like I said there like uh, if you go to the blog post CIS uh, 240 uh, what is it 249 yeah CIS 249 dot jsgagnon.com you can find the uh, link to the story how I share my story from snapchat to all the different platforms so that's using stories on LinkedIn the next thing you're going to do is just like any other platform you got to be connecting I mean let's go back to the screen share here <clears throat> you got to be connecting I mean if I if I'm on LinkedIn you can look at if I you, you can't see that on you can't see my profile numbers other than the fact that I put 16k here that's just in my tagline but I mean I have I have um, 15,000 followers and I have uh, about the same number of you know connections um <clears throat> if I go to just my network right here you can see that I have two new uh, connection requests since last time I checked and I got 14,752 connections I don't even know what the contacts are maybe they're conversations based on people you con conversed with or something people I follow I don't know what that is either there's lots of stuff I still don't know about LinkedIn but uh you know it's stuff that I don't use that much right but <coughs> I probably should look into that stuff teammates is probably a you know people that work with you that you decide to connect as a teammate but anyways okay so that's and how do you so what do you do right first of all you want to be connecting you want to be sending connection requests to people you want to be searching for uh actually I did a course on this on how to grow your LinkedIn connections on Clicky course you can find it if you just go to Clicky course and search for LinkedIn you're going to see there's a course on there about your profile and about growing your connections um and it basically I go through the process of how do you how do you grow like a thousand LinkedIn connections in a month right I did that a couple of years back when I was first starting I started like you know like no connections and then I started growing my connections by following these like tips or strategies I guess and it makes a huge difference how many connections you have because the people that are connected to those connections like me I have like if I look up Gary Vaynerchuk right Gary Vaynerchuk is a second connection of mine so is and and Eric worry Eric worry is a first connection I'm actually got a first connection to Eric worry I got a first connection to uh no actually um right there's uh what's his name um Dan Loke I've got a first connection to him I've got a <clears throat> first connection I forget to who else but anyways I got a you know second Tony Robbins I'm a second connection to Tony Robbins second connection um like who else uh, Russell Brunson <clears throat> so Russell Brunson I'm also second to him right so, I mean so that's the thing so I mean if you if you have lots of connections you start to have second connections to people and one of the things with LinkedIn is you can't send a message to somebody who's your second connection unless you pay for the premium right uh you can you can the only way you can send a message to a second connection is by sending them a connection request say for example I go to uh to uh, Gary 
well let's go to Russell Brunson Russell Brunson if I go to Russell Brunson's page right there <coughs> now uh I've already sent him a connection request I believe if I click on connect here you can add a note oh okay hey Russell that so this is this is one way that that's the only way you can send a message to to Russell right um I'm pretty sure but anyways hey Russell always appreciate your content this the crazy year crazy year we are in hope it's okay to connect here too there we go so I'm just going to send that and that's basically a message to him which you know I don't know he's like got millions of connections right so I don't know but I do have 331 mutual connections and I do kind of engage with his stuff on Facebook all the time so maybe he is actually going to recognize my name I don't know if he's the one that actually engages but that's how you so connecting if I do a search for for example real estate whoops real estate real estate right if I do a search for that um now I can go in here and now I got all these connections right these potential that's second connections what you can do <laughs> first of all real estate connection real estate agents want you to connect with them so they're very unlikely to not accept <coughs> that's one of the ways to grow your connections but one of the one of the secrets is you change your search to be just show me just second connections I don't care about the ones I'm already connected with right now I'm just trying to find people to connect to and second connections are the ones that are the easiest you can just click on this and then you can say send and then you click on this and you say send and you click on this and you say send right so these are real estate agents um so I'm not really sure if they're but anyways I'm just saying that's and like I said I have that course I have does go through all these things and how to which kinds of searches you should do and how many send connections you should send a day and that kind of stuff uh but yeah so you got to connect so I mean that's 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 the basics of LinkedIn right I mean I hope this helped and I hope that you found this of value that LinkedIn is a platform that you can use to grow and by the way don't forget there's always things to learn on social media always 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 so we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.